Hey guys, my name is Simsy and welcome back to some more Total War Attila. We are playing as the Danes. So guys, let's get straight right into a couple of things we need to recap in today's episode. So, obviously we still need to deal with the Danish Separatists. Now, I thought they were going to besiege me at half and in this turn, or in the last. However, um, they decided to run away. But we need to get rid of them because we don't want them just hanging around here. They, they could attack any one of my settlements. So, we've sallied out here. Um, obviously, we're going to have to be careful. We're going to have to put it into Fort Stance so we don't lose attrition. But we currently have Horik here, uh, who's going to be commanding the force. I would give it to my heir, usually. However, since Th um, Lothar died not too long ago, and we still need to... We need, still need a stronger family line. We do have, obviously... Well, it's going to be interesting to, to see who becomes the heir. Should I give it to... Um, a Toron Trondir, Trondir, <laughs> Trondir, or should I give it to, oh my god, Haij, Haij Alamar, Haimal, Haimal, I'm just going to give up. Anyway, um, yeah, should we give it to the bastard, or should we give it to the, the, uh, legitimate heir? Well, if it was a man, it could have been Lothar's. Nevertheless, I don't want to risk killing him. That's what I'm getting at. Right, the Langobards here. Now, it just came up my non-aggressional pact and peace treaty. In, uh, sorry, my non-aggressional... Uh, no, it was my military alliance and my trade rights have been uh, broken with the Langobards. Now, why that is, they're all with the Franks. And the Franks came in and destroyed their region. So, I would like to snag that region so we could have the whole region of Germania. We just don't have the money at the moment. Now, speaking of my money, we're losing so much because we have two armies. Um, I currently have my High King down here with my second army protecting my gems, which uh, we are getting some nice trade for. Speaking of trade, let's have a look. Do the Franks want trade? No, they don't. Any other faction I can negotiate with to get trade? Not really. We did lose the settlement of Londinium, or Lindum. Lon, Lond, Inium, yeah, Lond Inium, Lond Inium, Lond Inium. I don't know why that's weird. Camelodunum, as well. Um, right, so we lost the province. Um, I didn't have a provincial governor, so someone died overly, so it doesn't really matter. Right, okay. Um, let's end the turn. That's basically what's been happening. We're on the verge of bankruptcy. Right, can we put the taxes up? We're still losing money. It's because of this army. We're just going to have to go bankrupt, I think. Because I can't afford to disband it. Because we need to get rid of those separatists. Once we get rid of the separatists, we can disband and be fine. We just need to get rid of them. I'm hoping they attack me. Instead of just running off. I don't know how far north I'll go. We'll just have to see. Oh, they're going by ships now. Right, we're bankrupt, which isn't the best, because we're going to be starting to lose men, um, and quite quickly. I'm trying to think how I can get my money back up. We could actually, like, raid a, a settlement here. There's a pretty big army here. I would go for this settlement, but... We might lose a lot more lives than uh, I would rather. We just need to get rid of these Danish separatists. That's what's just absolutely destroying our income. Well, we can push up here now. Or should I try and stay... Can we get peace with them? Low. How far can my ships get up there? Because maybe we're better off putting the army here because we can't... If we push my army up there, we only can go down from that beachhead there. Uh, I just can't afford to get rid of it. And I can't take this settlement in one turn because I haven't got any siege equipment. I'll have to wait. So I don't think there's much else we can do for bankruptcy. The thing is, we'll be in a worse situation if we disband that army. Then if we, uh, yeah, disband the army, we'll be in a worse situation, I believe. So very interesting, this Danish campaign. We probably expanded too quickly. But if we can pull it off, 
will be in a really solid situation for the future. The Huns seem to be pushing across into Germania. Western Roman separatists there. An illegitimate birth. That's not what I want. Defamation. The unscrupulous virus around, uh Pay him off, right. We had a bastard. Who had the bastard? You're joking. He had a bastard son. Why couldn't you have it to the princess? Because, <laughs> um... Oh, he's lord. He's going down. We have to fix that. Um, because obviously if it's his bastard, it's not related to her, so... Yeah. He's an illegitimate claimant. Right, we're going to push up through here. We're going to need to attack them quickly because we are on the verge of bankruptcy. Can we... I was going to say, we might be able to push down with the Vandals. If we attack, can we win? The only problem is if there's another army hiding. What's the garrison look like here? It's pretty weak. We might be able to sack it then get some money. No, I think we're just going to have to wait. Right, we've got some character unassigned traits. We'll go back into Wolf and Infantry Command. We put the taxes up really high, but... It's only for one turn. That'll make us in the positive, and that will make us lose a lot, little bit less. We just need to get rid of these Danish Separatists. And once we do that, we can disband that Northern Army. It's just that we recruited, obviously, really quick to deal with them, and then they ran off, so that just, like, tanked our economy. As soon as we get rid of them, we should be pretty well right. But I don't know if I'll play it if it's a naval battle. I don't particularly like naval battles. I'm not really good at them, and I don't find them really fun. They're just kind of boring. There's no, like, strategical stuff to it. Right, okay, where did they go? They've disappeared, apparently. They're running away. Like, really far away. Right. I guess that's not too bad, then. I think it's time to, uh... Disband the army. Because they've run off now. Um. Right. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to normal tax rate. We're going to need to disband this. So, what do we need to disband first? Probably the cavalry. That's tanking our economy a lot. Uh, I don't want to disband all the cavalry. I'll disband two. And we'll work our way down. Get rid of the spearmen. Javelin skirmish. Just get rid of them. Oh, we're actually making a profit now. Not much. But this army's probably not too bad. Let's hold on. I'm going to move the... I'm going to wait. I was going to say, I might wait to move the air. I will. Right. Um... I need to get wait until this gets happy so I can move this army out. Iva has gone up a little bit. What have we got here? Integrity, Wolf, and Infantry Command. I just want the basic for that. I'll have to delve into um, the Governor traits to be more specific. Right. Um, yeah, we just need to keep an eye on those Separatists. They are going off, and they will be losing attrition quite heavily because it's in winter in the north. I might try to get peace with them or something, but I don't think I can get anything else because they're like Separatists. Shame they run off. I was hoping to have the, a battle against them. Now, we need to make the decision. Do we expand into... Britain, which I wanted to. Or... They're coming back now, for some reason. <laughs> or do we go into Gaul? Because the Western Roman Empire is weak. However, the um, the separatists and the uh, the rebels are reasonably strong. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to move my army. I'm going to move the prince to Rugian. He'll be a little bit more safer there. I might even move him here, to be honest. Oh, the Huns are there. Just in case they attack Rugian by sea. If they do, that would probably help me a lot more. However, we're going to move this army into Harfen. We'll just wait, I guess. 
I don't want to leave this gem resource because we're probably going to be attacked otherwise. There's a pretty solid army here. We just need to get rid of these separatists. It's a bit of a cat and mouse at the moment. Not too entertaining to watch. I would like to save some more money to take that province or from the former Langobards. And I don't know what the Separatists are doing, they're just running back and forth now. Brilliant. Right. I'm trying to think, should I attack this settlement now? Or should we push north? I do want to get a battle in today's episode. I want to take Londinium back. However, we don't have the resources to hold this. We might as well push that way through Gaul, probably. And we can't move this second army now because we need to watch out for the Separatists. Can we get peace with them? Because we are actually improving with them. No. Can I get some friends to join the war against them? That might be a good idea. I'll give you some money. Not that I have much. Who really hates them? It's me, really. The other, like, the Rugians don't really hate them overly. Wow. <laughs> right, we're going to talk to the Angles. We get a military alliance if we can. Low. We did get one with the Rugians. We swapped our defensive with them. Right, family tree, how's it going? Okay. Humbly's bastard daughter has come of age. 17, we can marry her off. Plus five defense. Wow. That's interesting. We'll just wait. Because we don't have the money really to get any more candidates. I would say, right, I think I'm going to attack this army here. Um, I don't know if I want to occupy it, though, because we're going to have to take to get the whole Rage of Octodorum. It's pretty close. Well, they are pushing quite heavily against them. And, obviously, because it's not a walled city, we can attack in one turn. Right. Let's fight this one on the field. So, they haven't got any reinforcements. Two lots of onigas, and we can make it back to our settlement. Um, I don't know. Do I want to take this? I want to take Britannia. I, don't, I just don't know where I want to expand the empire because we can't. We don't have enough armies to hold these territories. I don't particularly want to desolate them, but I do want to try and weaken the Western Roman rebels. It's just that the separatists are just so annoying in the north. <laughs> We need to deal with them. But they just keep on running. Finally, we've got to dry. <laughs> right, okay. Well, we can go straight into their settlement. So there's a couple of towers here and there. We'll chuck three here. Three there. Three here. And we'll take out... Um, can we deploy any more over here? No, we can take out that tower from here, though. We should be right. There. I might even put my cavalry there, because we can't deploy it all the way there. Right, um, archers. I want you to sit here. We'll go with heavy shot. Uh, we'll go with flammable, actually. Pikemen and the remaining spearmen can go here. Right. Attack them.
Axeman. They have their onigas there and archers. We're going to move my cavalry to attack those spearmen then. Holy shit. Our general is under attack. He actually got hit. Oh, crap. He lost 30 units. Get these guys out of pike. Move my archers up. Put you on skirmish mode. We're gonna have to take the tower, though. I'm gonna move my archers up to go take the uh, my cavalry to go up and take the tower. My axemen are here now. All right, we're pushing up. We need to take down this barricade. Fight against their axemen here. How are we going on this side? Pushing. Alright, get my archers to hit in this cluster here. We'll push up. Um, seeing as they're destroying the barricade there, we'll push one unit through here, and then we'll push the other two up here. Right, so we've taken that tower out. We're going to flank around now. We're going to get my skirmishers to hit their onigas. Which are retreating. Oh, nice, guys. Nice hit. Right. They're finished. We still haven't taken this tower yet. I'm going to move one of my... Uh, shit. We haven't taken it. My generals and stuff are not here. Alright, we'll fall over it up here now. Continue to push. Try kill their general. I can sacrifice one. Um, actually, no, my archers will be fine. Fire against those swordsmen. I'm going to send one unit back to go take them. Alright, skirmish cavalry. Skirmish. Come on, run. <laughs> That's what the skirmish cavalry does. <laughs> These axemen don't have a berserk trait or anything, no. Alright, that's broken. Going to get my archers to aim in there. I was going to get them to halt, but we should be alright. There won't be too much friendly fire in there. There is now, though. I want these archers to halt. Um, right, move my axemen up. We'll leave one to take this tower. Yeah, keep running out. I do want to surround their cavalry. That tower's gone, so we can do that now. Move up and take the town square. Uh, send one unit to go and hit their cavalry, because we need to get rid of their general. How are we going for troops? Uh, looks like we just lost under 500. Not too bad, not too bad. We're about to hit their general from behind here. I'd imagine they get an axe volley off. For the Danish Empire! And that should route them. Right, they've routed here now. We're nearly in their town square. The enemy general is dead. And I would say that would be... The defining moment. These... Heavy axemen here are still holding on. They're, sorry, they're heavy infantry, not their axemen. Right, we won. Victory. Let's end it there. Decisive victory. Still haven't decided if I'm going to occupy, 
But uh, Dana, High King, deployed 2,979. He lost just under 600, and the Western Roman Rebels deployed 15, just under 1,500. Alright, we've knocked his head off. Sack, loot, and occupy. We get more money. And we occupy it. So, yeah, I'm going to loot and occupy. Um, I don't particularly care about the settlement. Maybe later on in the future. But what we're going to do, if we can't double time, I was going to say we should try to get out of here as quickly as possible, just in case these other armies decide to come up and, and attack us. Um, yeah. We can't hold it, and that's the thing. And I want to protect my gem resource as much as possible. That's giving me a bit more money so I can finally upgrade that, um, hopefully to a gem cutter. But uh, we still need to be wary of the Danish separatists. A couple of things to look forward to. I want to recolonize that, so I need to set up for that, and I do need to set up for a new gem cutter. I do know I do want to expand, but um, we just don't have the armies yet, and we can't commit this one until the Danish separatists are dealt with. But I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you watched it all the way through, I really do appreciate it. Actually, before I end it, I've got an idea. I'm going to ask people for money. They might be able to give me some money. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. I'm going to negotiate with everyone here to try to get at least a thousand. If we can get this, this would be awesome. It's not... Oh, my God. Because it isn't really a glitch, but I do know it's kind of overpowered. Oh my god. The AI, we're just going to be stealing their money. Rejected. Uh, how about 500 then? Accepted. Saxons. My god. And they're accepting. We're just holding them to ransom. And I do know for a fact this doesn't diminish their public order. Obviously, it weakens their own economy, so they're more exposed to being attacked. But who really cares, I guess? <laughs> wow. So everyone except for the Geats gave me a thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand. We just got. We do have trade. We do have trade with some other factions like the Picts. Um, what are our relations with the Abdanians and the Picts? Would the Picts give me a thousand? I don't think so. We're not that happy with them. And the people we are happy with, yeah, they wouldn't. Maybe 300. Low. Who are we happy with that we don't have any negotiations with? The East um, Germanic Separatists. That's one of them. Would you like a thousand? Or can you give me a thousand? Accepted. Perfect! Um, Angles, we've got negotiations with. The Abdanians, I wouldn't imagine. We negotiate with the Picts. I wouldn't imagine that the Abdanians would give me money. No. Who else are we happy with that we don't have anything? Obviously, we did ask the Langobards already. And in a couple more turns, we can ask again. The Swabians might be able to give us some cash. So basically, all the dramatic tribes are giving us uh, money to build up our kingdom. Rejected. 500 then. Oh, wow. I do apologize if you get pissed off at this, but it's a part of the game, and it's going to speed up the campaign a hell of a lot. Because we can put it into our economy. Perfect. How much do we have at the top of this turn? Wow, 12,000? Holy shit. That is amazing. That is amazing. I'm going to have to save. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to definitely upgrade the gem cutter. We might even be able to upgrade to in the next gem cutter. Um, can I upgrade Harfen? No, I can't until I get some more technologies. I can upgrade my salt works. That will increase my trade. That's a minus 2 to public order, so we're going to have to combat that. A Chieftain's Hall, minus 7 to public order, uh, gets 7 public order. That will help with the, um, the one going out. I think we're going to go with... We're only going to upgrade... We actually probably could take this settlement with that money, I didn't realise. Because then we could have the entirety of the region. Maybe I'm better off to save it. 
I don't know. I don't know. Because we're going to need more food so we can get it fishing. And we'll sail for a chieftain's hall to help with the morale. But the fishing villages is going to help our wealth and it's going to give us more food. Right, because I don't particularly want to be putting too much money here. I'd much rather upgrade my, my northern territories. Okay, I'm officially going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't. And stay tuned for some more Total War content on my channel. Goodbye.